JJD Addicts, it's me, Sunver, here to do prompt number seven. So prompt number seven is doll relationships, and I actually have somewhat like relationships like outlined for my dolls, uh, kind of similar to like the personalities or like uh, what kind of like, you know, personas you have for your dolls, characters, and things like that. I've been slowly developing their characters through live journal, um, and I actually feel bad because I haven't written entries in a while. But so here I have Kai and Umi. Um, the relationship between these two is that they're siblings. Um, she's his younger sister. She's six years old, and I've actually figured out ages for my SDs. They're actually supposed to be like 21, um, like in college. Um, the funny thing between these two is that um, they are very much your brother and sister persona characters. When I say that, I mean that um, Umi is very, very protective of her big brother Kai, and Kai is pretty much protective of his little sister Umi. Um, a little bit of the backstory between them and how they got here. Uh, is that their parents actually passed away um, and he was so used to taking care of her but they have an aunt and uncle um, that offered to take care of Umi so Kai could go back to school which he actually did but it wasn't until recently that his aunt and uncle um, the uncle got a job promotion and they had to move. So Kai being the big brother that he is, um, during this time, uh, while the aunt and uncle watched him, he would spend whatever time he could visiting Umi at their house. But now that they were going to be moving, he told them that he wanted to take care of his sister and he didn't want to be separated with her. So he asked, I guess you can say me, I'm like the tenant of the house and they kind of all just live here. That's the character thing that I have. Um, he asked me if she could stay here with him, and so we all kind of pitch in and, and work out and try to take care of little Umi. Um, but Kai, he's a good brother. He'll go ahead and take care of her most of the times. Now, little Umi here, she has a big jealousy issue with people around her big brother. Um, she really likes to keep him to herself um, and she will spend like every waking moment she can around her big brother um, which to her big brother's dismay uh, he loves her but at the same time he kind of wants like time by himself um, but she's constantly there all the time um, but you know he kind of just shrugs it off he's kind of like eh, you know what else. other than that I mean it's just your typical brother sister relationship you know he's really protective and he loves his little sister and Little sister loves big brother Kai a lot, and um, they both take good care of each other, so. Okay, so Yui here is actually technically the new tenant that um, I've been talking about and, you know, squeeing about and all that goodness in my live journal, um, and she's actually someone that Kai didn't really expect to be coming. Um, she is really, really social. Yui is very much a free spirit. Um, she has the different colored fingernails all the time. She's got the pink hair uh, that she dyed, um, which was very much against her parents' wishes. Um, and she actually does go to the same school as Kai. She just transferred in, so she's the new girl. So, when you put Umi and Yue together, you get complete madness. You get Umi here that's totally jealous of Yue because Yue will tease Kai a lot and poke at him and she gets really really like kind of protective over him because of that. And then you've got Yue here that does it just to be a pain in the butt. She will go ahead and she knows it bothers Umi to do things like that to Kai and she does them and she enjoys making her mad. It is hilarious. Kai thinks it's kind of like he kind of just like shrugs it off and he's like, you know, I can't believe she's fighting with a six-year-old type thing. Um, but the two of them, the chemistry that's between them, I mean, there would be lightning, like little lightning sparky things, like angrily shooting at each other. But deep, deep down inside, she really likes Umi and Umi really actually respects Yue as an, kind of like an older role model sometimes, but only sometimes. 
So what do you get when you mix Kai and Yui together? Well, it's actually really, really funny because their personalities are so different. Um, Kai is usually shy around people to begin with. Um, it kind of takes him a while to warm up to people. Once he does warm up to them, he'll pretty much, you know, be chill and stuff. But, um, Yue kind of loves to tease the crap out of him, like, all the time. Whether it be about his hair, his clothes, or about the way he acts. She's always teasing Kai about something, and Kai just kind of, you know, has to, you know, do his best not to, uh, go crazy with her around. So for the most part, they're actually at a good relationship status right now. Um, they kind of complement each other very well from where he kind of lacks in like, you know, social skills and things like that. She's very, you know, um, very upfront about it. Um, so they, right now, I don't have them like blatantly like going out right now. I'm still developing that character, but they do have those kind of like awkward moments that are just like, oh, and they kind of don't know what to do, um, which is a big shocker because, you know, usually UA can, you know, laugh anything off, but, you know, it just sometimes, but anyway, uh, the two of them, they're just, they're just really funny to watch sometimes just because UA just, you know, knows the exact buttons to push on Kai sometimes. And that's my response to video prompt number seven. I'm sorry it kind of turned into like the other prompt where it talked about like the personalities your dolls have, but it's just kind of funny because they're kind of developing more and more the longer that I've had them now. And of course I do actually have the live journal that I'm hopefully going to keep up to date. Uh, I need to actually write some entries, so. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and remember, BGD Addicts is actually now moving. It's no longer going to be a YouTube group anymore. It is going to be having its own channel. So if you're going to be doing video prompts, please, 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 please send them to the new channel. Um, I've explained um, everything on the DA and I've explained it on the actual BGD Addicts site. So big, big sorry, you guys, that this change is happening, but I really can't help it because YouTube's just saying no more to groups. Hope you guys have a good day and we will see you guys later. Bye. And this is a typical scene of what the three of them look like together.